Hello guys, uh, today I'm just making a video on some basic insights on how to solve questions related to ones and twos complement. I know many of you guys have this topic including binary addition and subtraction. So hopefully this video can help you all in uh, order to understand this type of concept. If you guys have enjoyed the video, please do like, share and subscribe to the channel. It really helps a lot. And uh, yeah, let's start with the video. Alright, so ones complement. The one thing that you guys must remember for one's complement is that each digit in the binary number is inverted. So in other words, what I mean by this is that 0, let's say 0, becomes 1 and 1 becomes 0. So let's just take an example for one's complement of how it's going to be applied in a question. So let's say in an example, if we write down an example, let's say uh, 0, 1, 0, 1, 1, 0, 1, 0. Now this has a denary equivalency of value 90. Now using one's complement, we know that each digit in the binary number is inverted. So whereas what I mean by is 0 becomes 1 and 1 becomes 0, like I stated. So here the denary, uh, let's say the one's complement application on this d binary value, it's going to be 1, 0, 1, 0, 0, 1, 0, 1. This is going to be a denary equivalency of minus 90. So now this is your answer while applying one's complement on this binary digit. So all we are doing is that we're just inverting the binary numbers and each digit in the binary numbers itself. Now two's complement is a different story. Two's complement is where each digit in the binary number is inverted. So that's similar to one's complement but you're going to add one is going to get added to the rightmost bit. So what, what I mean by this is, let's say we take the same example, in this case, for 2's complement. So we're going to write 0, 1, 0, 1, 1, 0, 1, 0. That's 90. We know 90's value while we're going to apply. What we're going to do is we're going to invert the digits. So that's what we're going to apply here. So 1, 0, 1, 0, 0, 1, 0, 1, minus 90. Now what we're going to do is using this value, we're just going to add 1 a positive one to the rightmost bit. So we're applying that concept here. We're going to add one to the rightmost bit in order to convert it to two's complement. So this is the question. And now the concept that you guys have to understand is that while you're doing addition, it's not similar to mathematics, but it's we're going to add it in terms of, let's say in terms of computer science. So when you do one plus one, this is not going to be two. It's going to be a zero with a carry of 1. So some people might be asking like how is this possible? Just learn the method and uh, when dealing with this. When you have 1 plus 1 plus 1 it's going to be 1 with a carry of 1. Okay so this is when there are triple ones usually that occurs when you add like a whole two 8-bit binary digits together. So these are some of the rules that you must understand. So if we solve this, is that if it's going to be 1 plus 1, this is going to be 0 with the carry of 1. 1 plus 0 is going to be 1. 1, 0, 0, 1, 0, 1. We're just going to add all the values. Since uh, 1 plus 1 is equal to 0, this is going to be a carry of 1. Now this uh, 2's complement is going to be negative 90. So that's while applying 2's complement in this case. So your answer is going to be 1, 0, uh, 1, 0, 0, one one zero. This is going to be our answer in terms of two's complement. So these are the two different methods of binary addition and uh, subtraction. Up to now, we have assumed all binary numbers have positive values, but there can be other methods as well to represent both positive and negative numbers. This is why we use one's complement and two's complement. Now, two's complement is a better version, I would assume, for negative numbers itself. All right, so I'm going to include some other examples. Let's say for uh, two's complement itself, if we take, uh, let's say if we take the values and we have to add two values together, and uh, let's say in terms of binary addition. So the question states is they're going to add 0010001. This is 37 in denary. You're going to add these two values together. I'm going to show you guys how to do this. 0, 0, 1, 1, 1, 0, 1, 0. Now, uh, do take in consideration, this is going to be 58, by the way. Do take in consideration the zeros and ones. Carefully analyze them. 
Okay, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to arrange it 0, 0, 1, 0, 0, 1, 0, 1, 0, 0, 1, 1, 1, 0, 1, 0. So I've arranged it. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to add this. All right, since we have to add both these values, you're going to get 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1 plus 1, 0, carry 1, 1, 0. This is going to be answer in this case, which is going to give us a value of, let's say, 95. Now that's going to be in terms of DRE, and this is the correct answer. So uh, that's a way to do binary uh, addition in with binary digits. Now in terms of subtraction, now that's going to be a different story as well for binary uh, subtraction. So I'm going to show you guys how to uh, do subtraction. This is for subtraction, let's say subtraction of 95 minus 68 in terms in binary. So what we're going to do is I'm going to release videos on how to do from binary to hexadecimal or something like that so that you guys know how to do this. So 95 in terms of binary is going to be a 0101111. Zero, one, zero, one, 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 okay. 68 in terms of binary is going to be 01000100. Zero, one, zero, 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 one, zero, zero. So that's going to be in terms of binary. Now, since this is a subtraction question, what we have to understand here is that there can be equivalency of, uh, let's say, if we do 95 plus or minus plus minus 68. So we can do it like this way as well. Since this is it's going to just be 95 minus 68, that's going to be equivalent. This is like an algebra concept in mathematics where you have A minus B, which also means the same thing as A plus minus B, which is equivalent to this as well right so that's like a math mathematical concept so that's why we're going to apply two's complement on 68 itself so we're going to apply two's complement on 68 so what we're going to do is the first step we're going to invert the digits all right we're going to write down the number here so that we can see it clearly we're going to invert the digits to 1 0 0 uh, uh 1 0 1 1 1 0, 1, 1, and we're going to add 1 to the rightmost bit. This is in order to do it in terms of 2's complement. So 1 plus 1 is going to be 0, carry 1, 0, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 0, 1. Okay, this is going to be your, let's say, your negative 68. That's going to be negative 68. Since we have to do subtraction, we know that it's going to be equivalent to 95 plus minus 68. So all we do is just we add... 95's binary value with minus 68's binary value. So you have 95, I'm just going to write it down here. So 0101111. Zero, one, zero, one, 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 one. And we know that minus 68 is going to be 1011110. One, zero, zero, zero. All we do is just we're going to add these two values together. I'm going to just put a separation line there so that we can see the difference. And we're going to get 1 plus 0 is 1, 1. 1 plus 1 is going to be a 0, carry 1. Now, this is the exception case that we have to understand, is that when you have 1 plus 1 plus 1, this is going to be 1, and you're going to do a carry of 1, okay? So that's the exception that you guys have to understand. So it's going to be 1, carry 1, 1, carry 1, 0, carry 1. It's going to be 0, carry 1, 0. Now this is going to be carry 1 here, but there's nothing to add it with, so you're going to put that in brackets. Now one exception case here that you guys have to understand is that the additional ninth bit, so what I mean by this is that this piece here, this bit here, the additional ninth bit, is just simply going to be ignored, leaving the binary value with your uh, with your final answer to be as a, let's say, it's going to be 0001. Zero, 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 1011. One. This is going to be your final answer, and uh, this is a DRE equivalency of uh, 27, okay? And which is the correct result of the subtraction. So, what you're going to do is you're just going to leave, let's say you're just going to ignore, and uh, just by leaving the binary uh, digits of 1 here, you're just going to leave it as it is. Now, this is the concepts of how we're going to apply 1's complement and 2's complement on these binary additions and subtractions. So hopefully this video has helped you guys to understand this concept of ones and twos complement. If you guys have enjoyed the video, please do like, share, and subscribe to the channel. It really helps a lot. And do comment on what your thoughts are about this video. And uh, yeah, I think that's it. All right. Bye, guys.